Today we're talking about something really interesting from Google, a brand new AI tool called Pomeli. It's been developed by Google Labs together with DeepMind and is designed to help small and medium-sized businesses create marketing content quickly and easily. So if you ever run a small business or manage marketing and felt like you didn't have the time or budget to make everything look professional, this might be something you'll want to hear about. In this video, I'll walk you through what Pomeli is, how it works, why Google created it, and what it could mean for the future of marketing. We'll also talk about what's good, what's not so great, and where this might be headed. So let's jump in. What exactly is Pomeli? Pomeli is an AI-powered marketing assistant built by Google to help businesses make brand and content without needing a full design or marketing team. You can kind of think of it as your personal creative partner. It understands your brand style, tone, and colors, and then helps you generate things like social media posts, ad banners, and campaign ideas. Right now, Pomeli is in its beta stage and only available in English across a few countries, the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. It's still early, but it shows that Google is serious about moving into the creative side of AI. This isn't just about search or productivity anymore. It's about helping businesses express themselves online more easily. So how does Pomeli actually work? The way Pomeli works is actually quite simple, and that's what makes it so appealing. It starts with something Google calls your business DNA. When you enter your website, Pomeli analyzes it to understand your brand. It picks up on your logo, colors, fonts, images, and the kind of language you use. In other words, it builds a digital fingerprint of your business so it can generate ideas that feel like they come from you. This step alone solves one of the biggest problems with AI tools at the moment, which are that they are generic, out-of-the-box feeling. Pomeli grounds its output in your actual brand, making it more personalized for the user. Once your business DNA is ready, the next part is all about creativity. Pomeli gives you campaign ideas automatically, or you can write your own prompt. For example, if you own a coffee shop, Pomeli might suggest something like pumpkin spice season is back and create a set of matching social media posts and taglines for it. If you're promoting a product, you can simply say, help me advertise my new mug collection and the tool will design visuals and copy that match your brand's tone. It's like brainstorming with a designer and a copywriter at the same time, except it takes seconds instead of hours and at the fraction of the cost. Once you finally have an idea you like, Pomeli then turns it into a real editable content. It can generate full posts, banners, and ads that are ready to share. You can tweak the text, swap images, and download the final version straight from the tool itself. Everything it makes follows the brand style it learned earlier on, which keeps your marketing consistent and professional at the same time. It really feels like a mix between Canva and ChatGPT, but tailored specifically to your business identity. All right, how about we try it out right now? So you click on the thing, and as you can see, a lot of people are trying to get onto it. Uh, you can see the process here, business DNA, custom idea, generate creation. So let's get into it. I'm going to copy paste my uh, website link for World of AI. Let's see what it comes up with. So it looks like it's analyzing my website, trying to learn more about it, getting the colors from it as well. Brand values, interesting uh, visual aesthetic. So it kind of is trying to understand what my website is like, what my design style is like at the moment and trying to come up with a creative campaign or fonts or things for it. So we can see here that it has come up with a selection of things. So it has my website name, um, the images I have on there. Oh, some taglines I put in brand values, tone of voice. Okay. So it's also reading things like that. So it kind of is cool to understand like what kind of work it pulls in. Um, it also has a business overview, which is probably generated by AI by scraping my website. Um, I can also edit multiple things. I can upload more images if I need to. What else can I do? Uh, I can change the font, which is nice. I can also add my logo or if I'm missing any images, I can add that in there as well. So a lot of things I can upgrade and change. So now it has come up with some campaigns for me. So these are like the default ones. I can also guide it to come up with a campaign that I want to create. So I'll do something related to my AI consulting business. So I'll type that in here. And 
Now I'm gonna tell it to generate some ideas. All right, so it looks like it has come up with some campaign ideas. Um, you know, like AI doesn't have to be complex, some other things. Let's do lead the next decade because that one sounds kind of interesting. So now it's creating specific um, marketing campaign. Like we have a campaign, but now it's creating actual assets for that campaign. So let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so here's the first one. It looks kind of sick. It's taken that globe website, I mean, that globe image from my website and created something with there. That's the second image from my website. Oh, the second and uh, fourth uh, ones are not from my website. So it's generated that by itself. So let's edit this one. Uh, you can see like I can download this, I can upgrade it, I can change it. I'm going to change the header. I'm just going to add something simple like start leading now into the header. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. All right, not bad. They added it in the now. We have the description part that I could edit if I need to. I can also add a call to action button. So let's generate that. All right, so I added that button at the bottom called redeem now. Interesting. All right, let's fix the layout. I'm just testing that button. I don't know what it's going to come up with, but let's see what change it makes. Not too bad. It just, I guess, changed the color of the uh, call to action button. And then I can just press download. And as you can see, I have that image downloaded. So that was pretty quick. All right. To me, Pumili feels like one of those tools that could quietly become huge. It's simple to use, saves time and helps small businesses create content that kind of looks clean and consistent. It is still early, so the results won't always be perfect. And if your website doesn't show a clear brand identity, the AI might not fully capture your tone. There's also a risk that as more people use it, some of the outputs could start to feel kind of similar. But despite that, Pameli is a glimpse into where marketing is heading. It's becoming faster, smarter, and more accessible. It's not really about replacing creativity. It's about freeing up time so people can focus on what matters most. For small business owners, they could mean spending less time worrying about design and more time connecting with customers. For Google, it's one step closer to building an all-in-one ecosystem for business growth. So that's Pameli. A simple idea with the potential to change how small businesses market themselves. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future uploads. And tell me in the comments, would you let AI run your marketing or do you still think creativity should stay human? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.